Hey friends, welcome back to Nuts's Nook. So I'm going to make something, I don't know if I've ever made it before, and if I have, I definitely have never made it this way. Um, I keep seeing um, some beef enchiladas, and I haven't figured out a way to make my own enchilada sauce yet. Um, that I, I mean, I do have some that I canned, but I'm saying per meal. So I did buy a couple cans, actually, from um, Walmart. But I was looking through there, because I swear I saved the recipe and I cannot find it anywhere so in the way of looking for the recipe I can't find all these different ones and I'm like well I like this part but I don't like this part so you know that's one thing about making your own food is that you can change up the recipe to your own personal appeal so that's what I'm doing today um, I'll bring you down here I'll show you what I'm gonna do and um, hopefully dinner <laughs> will taste good if not um, I guess we'll I don't know, have peanut butter sandwiches or something. Anyways, bring it down here to the stove. And I go ahead and turn on. Now, some of them actually had onions. Some of them didn't. But I'm trying to go for a loaded um, beef enchilada. So I am going to opt to put the onions in there because for one thing I absolutely love onions and I am using my um, pre-cooked hamburger but but you know it will warm up and um, cook at the onions at the same time so that's what I'm going for here I don't cook it all the way through I mean it is almost all the way through but it actually um, has a little bit that it can before it becomes like too mushy and like a dog food type um, hamburger. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this warmed up and I'll bring you back as soon as I'm ready for the next step here. All right, and before I forget, I'm adding a can of green chilies to this too. I almost forgot all about it until I went to go pull something else out of the cabinet. And some people did not put any spices in their meat. I don't wanna be one of those people. So there's a little bit of garlic powder, do a little bit of pepper, and then I'm going to do a little bit of salt. I'm trying to debate if I want any onion powder, I don't think I do. So I'm going to go ahead and get this finished stirring up here, and I'll show you the next step here. Okay, the onions are cooked. Now what some of the people did is they put a little bit of cheese in with the meat. Not everybody did, a few people did. Should have made that hole just a little bit bigger. Other than making a big mess all over my stove. Okay, so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna go ahead and turn that down here, let that cheese melt. And then I'll bring you over to the island and we'll get these uh, put together here. All right, and what some of them did, and I like the idea of the extra taste. So what I have is my um, homemade, what's left, it's probably about a quarter of that container of my homemade um, sour cream. And what they did is they poured some salsa in with it. And I'm just, just guesstimating because obviously I'm pulling together probably four or five different videos here. That made that kind of watery. Alright, so what they did is... They took and spread the sour cream and the salsa on the shells. Now, like I said, this is something that I have no idea how this is even going to taste because this is a combination of probably <laughs> four or five different recipes that I saw. Then go ahead and put the meat in there. Alright, I go ahead and roll this up, 
And of course, you're going to put a, put the one end down. And I forgot to put some. And that's, that's right, I'll just put it on the top. But that is very liquidy, and I don't know why it didn't look that liquidy. But let me get a napkin here. I mean, everything smells and tastes fine, so I don't get it. But I'll just kind of pour it out, make that a little bit faster. And <clears throat> this way, you know, I said instead of having something that doesn't have any flavor at all, at least this has flavor. Because, you know, obviously the salsa has its own flavor. And then you've got the green chilies, the onions, the meat that's got some uh, flavoring in it, too. Alright. Now what I'm going to be serving this with is actually just some leftover uh, cheese. I mean, leftover rice from the other day and um, so that rice will be my side I'm really hoping this tastes good <laughs> kind of messy but it should hopefully taste good and I think I got just about enough meat to do the four which that's even better. I don't like to have a lot of leftover meat unless I'm doing something with the meat, you know. So I have to kind of squish this a little bit because that pan's getting a full. It's looking like that, by the way. And go ahead and get this last one done. I know, like that restaurant you hear me talk about here in town. On their um, chicken enchiladas, they actually do mix sour cream and um, salsa together for their dipping sauce. Which I didn't know that until I finally had enough nerve to ask them <laughs> what it was. And they're like, oh yeah, it's just this. I'm like, oh, okay. <clears throat> I'm hoping with that green chilies, it's going to give it a nice flavor too. So I'm going to go ahead and get these rolled up, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the enchilada sauce on it. All right, so I'm just going to take some of the um, <clears throat> enchilada sauce that's mild from Walmart, and then just pour that over the top. I guess there would have been some enough to put some on the bottom. That I see some people do that, you know, put some on the top and the bottom. Maybe there wouldn't have been. But this will go on the bottom, I think. Let me get these edges here. That looks nice and full. I'm sure as it cooks, it will go down. I'm going to go ahead and put some cheese along the top. And what I'll be doing is I'll be baking this over in the June. And um, I probably for a, probably a good 20 minutes or so because everything's cooked. Um, so you're pretty much just warming everything up and I will be right back with everything. Then what I'm going to be doing while well, that's cooking is I put a little bit of hot water from the sink and I'm going to go ahead and put some of that rice. I'll just put the whole thing in there. And I'll get this stirred up and then what's going to happen is I moved that dinner over to the side so this bowl can go in there and this rice can get warmed up too without having to microwave it. Because you guys all know that I'm not a big fan of the microwave, so. It looks like that soaked up all that water. So I'll give it a few, and I'll go ahead and put that over in the June. So, friends, this is the warmed up rice. And this is how the enchiladas are looking. Hopefully that I can pull a couple out of the pan without major mess up here. 
and make sure they're all moved from the edge. Now let's see if I can actually do this. You guys know that plating is not my big strong suit, that's for sure. It's heavy. Let me get another spatula out. See if I can get the two to do that. Yeah. Still a little bit of a mess. However, kind of thought it would be. And I'll just put the rice on the side. Pretend you don't see how messy the plate is, but that is going to be dinner tonight. And um, hopefully that tastes really super good and Mark really likes it. And uh, I'll let you know in the comments down below what we thought of dinner. So thank you very much for stopping by. Oh, yeah, if you have made something, it you know, if you've made it a different way, but kind of like this, let me know what you've done before. And thank you very much for stopping by. You have a very blessed and wonderful day.